Hi everyone, I'm going to get back to uh, miniatures between Grandmasters now with Yassir Sirowan against Nigel Short, which took place in Amsterdam in 1992. The opening was uh, Queen's Gambit declined with d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5, knight c3, bishop e7, bishop f4, castling, e3, c5, d takes c5, bishop takes c5, queen c2, knight c6, a3. Queen a5, rook d1, bishop b7, knight d2, e5, knight b3, queen b6, bishop g5. Up until this point, it's all pretty standard stuff until Short played a novelty with bishop e6. And uh, it led to a great win, but later analysis showed it to be inferior to first playing bishop g4 and provoking a weakness after f3. The uh, e3 square becomes weak, and then returning the bishop to, to e6 was stronger than the game continuation, and also at this stage d4 is playable too. So after after bishop e6, zero one played knight a4, which is uh, good, but white can also secure an edge with instead of playing knight a4. Bishop takes f6, and after, after d takes c4, knight d2, bishop takes f6, and bishop takes c4. So the game continued after knight a4 with queen a6, um, which is an unusual looking move in some respects. Like queen c7 keeps black's disadvantage to an absolute minimum. Say with the continuation, bishop takes f6, d takes c4, bishop takes c4, bishop takes c4, queen takes c4, and bishop takes f6. Um, but perhaps what Short played with queen a6 was part of Short's pre preparation, and he could have been setting a couple of traps. Because you'll see here, if this pawn moves, the bishop will be attacking the queen. So with c takes d5. Seemingly after that the queen captures this knight, white is going to secure the bishop pair. And with the move c takes d5, which is what was played in the game, Sirowan is uh, starting what looks like a decent tactical sequence, but it's flawed. What would have been better here is knight a c5. When after um, this continuation, bishop takes c5, c takes d5, queen a Queen a4, d takes e6, bishop b4, check, a takes b4, knight takes b4, e takes f7, check, and king a chain, which is preferable to rook takes f7 because of queen c4, b5, queen takes b5, queen takes b3, bishop c4, knight c2, check, king e2, queen takes b5, and bishop takes b5, where white should have a winning endgame. He's a pawn up and he's got two bishops against two knights. Uh, it's, yeah, it should be relatively simple to win. So after he takes f7, king h8 is the right move, but even then there's queen f5. And after queen takes b3, bishop takes f6, queen takes f7, bishop takes g7, check, queen takes g7, and queen e4. Um, this position would favor white as well. So playing knight after queen a6, knight a c5 was a better move than c takes d5 because it runs into uh, some tactics from short after queen takes a4 and bishop takes f6 which is um, interesting after like another possibility here was uh, d takes e6 <coughs> but it's much better for black after knight b4 and e takes f7 check king a chain a takes b4 bishop takes b4 check king e2 rook a c8 and queen f5 if queen d3 here then e4 and queen d4 queen b5 check is winning for black so after rook a c8, queen f5 is the right move. But even then, e4, knight d2, rook c5, queen takes f6, 
which is okay because if t takes f6 then bishop takes f6 is main so queen takes f6 and queen b5 check king e1 bishop takes d2 check rook takes d2 rook c1 check rook d1 queen a5 check and queen c3 would have to be played like if instead king e2 then it's mate in 2 with rook c2 check rook d2 it's on a move and then queen takes d2 check so after rook, rook c1 check rook d1 queen a5 check queen c3 would have to be played and after rook takes c3 is winning for black after b takes c3 and queen takes g5 so bishop takes f6 was the right move as opposed to t takes e6 anyway the game continued after bishop takes f6 with knight b4 and this was the key move of the game and I guess what short had figured out in his opening preparation because uh, this throws zero one into disarray and pretty much wins the game for black it's much stronger than say the other move that seems viable in the situation bishop takes d5 because after rook takes d5 bishop takes f6 bishop d3 g6 and castling uh, white has an advantage due to black's vulnerable light squares all around here and uh, yeah white ends up with the advantage there easily as opposed to after knight b4 is uh, really strong for black so Sir Owen replied with queen e4 if he plays a takes b4 here then bishop takes b4 check gives black a decisive attack after for example king e2 rook a c8 queen d3 bishop d7 rook a1 e4 queen takes e4 queen takes b3 bishop d4 rook f e8 queen f4 rook c2 check king f3 and queen takes d5 check is very strong so the knight is pretty much immune and the queen has to move so I play it went to e4 and then came rook a c8 and then the knight was taken with a takes b4 but it's uh, again it's, it's not a good decision to make in this particular situation but other moves wouldn't save the game in the long run for example say bishop d3 then knight takes d3 check queen takes d3 bishop takes f6 d takes e6 and rook f d8 is winning for black and that's just one sample continuation i don't really have time to go into a few others here i'd like to but i only get 10 minutes but uh, suffice to say that all variations from this point win for black so after a takes b4 and bishop takes b4 check king e2 and queen takes b3 it's starting to look really good for black and then uh, he played bishop takes e5 he can't play uh, d takes e6 here because after g takes f6 um, black still has a significant positional advantage so that's not a good continuation to go for for white and he can't move to bishop either like say for example if he plays bishop h4 then rook c2 check is winning for black so after bishop takes e5 which is what was played in the game came the crushing rook c4 and here white tried rook d4 bishop d4 loses immediately to rook c2 check king f3 bishop takes d5 so he plays after rook c4 rook d4 and then uh, short played rook takes d4 and after queen takes d4 bishop takes d5 white resigned because he'll have to lose his queen in order to save the game for example e4 then bishop to c4 check and the queen has to take it queen c4 and queen takes c4 and black wins the end game easily so it was a brilliant game from short his opening pre preparation paid off and resulted in a great miniature a win in 24 or 22 
two moves. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave any comments or thoughts. Thanks very much.